This is my first time trying a cabbage roll in probably 10 years. Mm. Oh. everyone and welcome to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, I am Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to follow along on our adventures. We are still in Bucharest and this week's episode is going to be one of our favorites that we love to film. Mm -hmm. We're going to be trying traditional Romanian food. Like most places we go, uh, there seems to be an abundance of dishes that we could try today. We've narrowed it down to a few different things. Um, we're going to be trying them over the course of a couple different meals. But keep in mind that it's one day we're two people. We can't eat everything. So if you guys watched our last video, you know that we are uh, staying in Old Town and uh, of course it's a touristic area. Now the restaurant we are at today is sort of touristic as well, but this restaurant is considered one that you have to come to if you are here. We also got a Ursus. I think this is one of the domestic beers here. It's the first time I've ever tried it. Let's give it a go. Not too bad. I mean, it's very similar to all the domestic beers we've had around this part of Europe, but it's good, but we're more excited for the food. All right, guys, our food has arrived. We ordered three dishes. This one here is a polenta dish. Over here, we have a soup, and it comes in a bread bowl, which is super exciting. This one, I'm not even sure how to describe because it doesn't look remotely what I thought it would, but it is a pork dish. All right, let's start here with the soup. So it is actually a, uh, it's called something like kior kiorba. I know I'm saying that totally, totally, totally wrong. Um, it's like a traditional sour soup that they have here in Romania. I actually wanted to get one that was made with chicken that I heard was really, really good, but they don't have it on this menu. This one is a white bean or a bean and um, smoked ham. And as I said, it comes in a bread bowl, which is just so much fun. That's yummy. It's a little bit sour, but not overly. It's almost like it has a tiny little bit of vinegar in there. There are big chunks of pork, which I didn't get on this one. And there are a few white beans in there, but I don't see a whole lot of them. I'm gonna try another bite, just with some pork. Maybe all the goodies are at the bottom. <laughs> oh, you can get the, ah, oh, you can get like the bread off the side. That's nice. <laughs> that pork is really, really, really tender. Uh, I love that you can get the bread off the side of it. It's like gonna come apart, I think, after a while as the uh, soup soaks in there. And uh, the, the pork also just adds like a nice smokiness to it. It's a good soup, nice, uh, it's a cold day, so it's yummy. All right, I'm gonna try this um, polenta. And now, like we said before, polenta is a very popular dish here. This one um, has some cheese on there. I believe there's a fried egg as well. Uh, it looks, all oh, right, and there's sour cream. So this is going to be good. Oh wow. Oh, it is sour. I can taste that right away. It's good. The thing about polenta is like very thick. It's kind of uh, grainy on the inside. But the cheese in here might be the showstopper because it's traditional, I think, Romanian cheese. Uh, it's just nice and smooth, nice and creamy. It really adds uh, nice contrast and nice flavor to the dish uh, overall. So, so far, so good. So Anna's gonna try this out because I don't think I really got much of the egg. So, um, wow, and I didn't realize the um, polenta was so thick in there. Yeah, it's, it's really, really thick. Oh, look at that. It's a big old gooey bite. Mmm. <laughs> so many different flavors, huh? So many. Like, I initially taste the cheese, but then a little bit of that yolk, which kind of adds like a nice little warmth to it. Mm, it's very, very, very comfort foody. Uh, I think this whole the whole meal is going to be super comfort food. But yeah, that's, that's, that's delicious. Mmm. Okay, so this dish came out and it's not at all what we thought it would be. Um, the reason we ordered it is it had something called jamari. I think it's jamari is how you say it. Um, but it's on, uh, what, what's going on here is there's cream of pork, uh, it's on some bread, and there's pickles and red onions here as well. Um, oh wow, look at that, look at that cream, it's so interesting. No idea what this one's gonna be like. So. I think this is the first time I've ever had um, pork in kind of a cream form. It's, it's a very interesting texture because I feel like I'm eating like a dip, but I can really taste that pork and it's a bit smoky as well. 
the pickles and the red onions are a nice touch on there. Of course, that gives it a bit of a bit of bite and um, sourness. And the bread is really good. So it looked like it was hard to cut through there, but that's just the crust. But in the inside, um, the bread's really um, doughy. It's a tasty little dish. Um, I'm kind of glad it showed up. I'm not sure how traditional it is, but I think it has that traditional pork. So, as we said, we are off to a good start here. The food is heavy. We expected that, but we did have to take a little bit of a break. But we're ready for round number two. This time, uh, this is something we couldn't say no to. So, when you think of wine, you probably don't automatically think of Romania, but they do have a lot of wine made here, and maybe we'll have some cheese with it. All right, so we found this really cute little wine bar. It's on an adorable street. Uh, we decided to sit outside, and it's nice and cozy because we have this heat lamp above us. I actually changed my coat into something a little bit warmer. I got a blanket, and we also have glass, uh, two glasses of red wine. So not only did we get some uh, delicious looking wine, we got some cheese as well, and this is all Romanian cheese, so we'll get into that. We'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, the wine I got is a, ca a blend, a Cabernet Sauvignon, a Pinot Noir, and uh, Negru Dragasani, I believe is how you say it. I'm probably not pronouncing it right. It's um, a Romanian uh, a grape, I believe. So yeah, well, let's try it. I like it. We're not wine connoisseurs, so it's a little tricky to uh, describe all the flavors, but I can tell it has, uh, it's dry, it has a bit of those tannins, and uh, I remember from wine tours we've been on in the past, it has a little bit of legs on it as well. All right, so we also got ourselves a small little cheese plate. It is Romanian cheeses. Um, this one is a blue cheese, which is not traditional, but it is made here in Romania. And this one is a, I think they said a um, goat cheese, and it's called Cașcaval. So I'm gonna try this Cașcaval. It really does not look like a goat cheese. It looks more like a cow's milk cheese, but hmm. Maybe I'm definitely not an expert on goat's cheese either. <laughs> Let's try it. Mm. It's good. It's nice and mild, a little bit salty. I think it'll go really well with this wine. So I'm going to try some of this blue cheese, and I put it on a piece of bread. And uh, also on the top is some balsamic. Seems like a good little combo. Oh, the flavor in that. It tastes so incredibly fresh. So as we said, um, blue cheese is not Romanian, right? Um, not at all. However, this is produced here and it just tastes absolutely delicious. Some people don't like blue cheese out there. Um, they think of it as like the stinky cheese. It's one of my favorite cheeses. It just has such a punchy flavor. Um, when you pair it with some delicious Romanian wine, it makes for a perfect combo. behind the scenes stuff that happens that we don't show you because it would be really boring is us looking online, picking out menus, uh, reading reviews, that kind of yeah. thing, and then going there and realizing that it's way too loud, the music's yes. blaring and we can never film. It happens quite a bit, you'd be surprised. And the reason for that, most times it's not the background noise, it's the music. If the music's too loud, um, the video, this video might get demonetized or it just, they might just turn the sound off, uh, <laughs> sort of. Uh, so basically you wanna hear what we're gonna say about the food. We have two options right now. Option one is a more pricier place, but it comes highly recommended. Mm -hmm. And it, it's quiet. And it's quiet. Yes. But option two? Yeah. Well, so uh, I think we don't know how loud it is. That's the problem. <laughs> but it has, the prices are better, and it yes. seems to have all the menu items we were looking for. So we will report back, well, uh, well for you, in two seconds. <laughs> and you'll see where we end up. Two seconds. <laughs> one, two, and a half. We have chose option number two, and I think we hit the jackpot. So first of all, as you walk in this place, it just looks absolutely perfect. I love the entrance. It just looks Romanian, if that makes any sense at all. As soon as you get in, there, uh, there's a kitchen. Some chefs are outside grilling all this food, and it's just ever so inviting. So now, let's take a look at the food we got down here. We knew we had to try some cabbage rolls, uh, since they are traditional here in Romania. These ones are filled with pork, I believe. We'll get into that as we go. Um, and the soup, we had to get another sour soup. We just loved the one earlier today. And we think, we're not 100% sure, but we think this one is with turkey, but of course we'll find that out in a few moments. Look at this, it is turkey. It's right on the bone. I'm gonna try it, because it's cold out here and I feel like this is gonna cool off really, really quickly. That broth, I can smell it from here. Whoa. Wow. Mm. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I might even like this one better than the one we had earlier. I think because there's no um, ham in this one, it doesn't have the um, same smokiness to it. So you really notice the sour more so than in the last soup that we had. Um, I didn't get any turkey in that one, but oh, this is delicious. It could be a little bit hotter, but again, we are sitting outside, so it probably cools off pretty quickly. All right, I'm gonna try this, but I, I'm, I got the turkey, there we go. So I was trying to make sure I'm gonna get a piece of turkey with my first bite. Oh, that is good. Oh, 100% in agreement. That, I prefer that over the soup earlier today, and you're right. It's, um, you can taste how it is a little bit more sour, and I, I prefer the turkey in this as well. I just find it just adds to it overall. What a great soup to have outside. You know, like this is one thing about um, the European culture. They're outside whenever they can, and they're at cafes, and they're eating, and they're having coffee and having wine. It's something we don't do a lot back home um, in Canada, but it's nice to do this here. You know, like having a nice warm soup keeps you nice and toasty outside and you get to enjoy just some delicious flavors. All right, so I'm excited to try these cabbage rolls. This is one of the main reasons we're here. Now I need to preface this a little bit. Cabbage rolls are common where we're from in Canada, um, but I haven't had them in a very long time. As a kid, my parents, mom and dad used to make them all the time. I was just never a fan. Um, it's nothing to do with my parents cooking if you're watching. I'm sure you are. It's not that. Just cabbage rolls, usually like wet leafy things aren't my thing, but I know we knew coming to uh, Romania we had to try them. This is a, a traditional dish. It's one of the main ones. So this is my first time trying a cabbage roll in probably 10 years. Mm. Oh, forget everything I just said. I am now a fan of cabbage rolls again. That is delicious. Oh my, that's so different than I remember in my head. I bet you now I might even like the cabbage rolls that I thought I didn't like in the past. That is delicious. Wow, where to start? Maybe it's all about the meat and the sauce that's on there. Meat is really, really tender, and when you and you take a bite, it just kind of melts in your mouth. And I think what I like is I don't, I know there's cabbage on there, but it's not the first thing I get is that wet leafiness. Um, I get the meat first, and it just makes for a perfect little mixture. It's nice and mushy, if that makes sense. It's just really savory and just packs a lot of punch. The flavor just hits you right away. It's so good, I'm impressed. I was a little nervous about all the dishes today to try this one again, because I didn't have uh, great memories about it, but yeah, we're doing okay. So when we were looking at some menus of other restaurants, we noticed that a lot of the cabbage rolls are made, yes, with pork, but with some other meats like veal and beef and that kind of thing. So I was a little nervous because I don't eat a lot of red meat, as we said before. I have recently started eating pork, so this to me feels a little bit safer because it's just made with pork. I'm gonna give it a go. I also put some polenta on there. That's good. Um, the, the predominant thing is definitely the meat. You don't really taste the cabbage that much. Like Trevor said, it's not like slimy or that kind of thing, which is kind of what I think of when I think of like cooked cabbage. And the polenta just adds a little bit of like grain to it. Yeah, I, I, I like this. I think I could eat this. Yeah, I think it was maybe the surprise of the day. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, not, it's not like super flavorful. There's no spice in there. I wonder if that chili would add a little bit of a... <laughs> extra punch to it but yeah it's just like a nice hearty meal like all, all I think all the dishes we've had today have been really hearty but this one yeah it's a little bit special if you thought we were finished we are not right now we have probably the most popular Romanian dessert out there it's called Papa Noshi it's kind of like Romanian donuts is how I like to think about it um, so the donuts itself are like deep fried dough on top we have some cherries and we think um, the white sauce here is sour cream now before anyone says like this is really small looking I'm going to show you this we have two of these. Basically, they gave us one and we just asked them to split it into two because as you know, we've eaten a lot of food today. I'm gonna try to get a bit of everything. So I got the donut, got a bit of that uh, delicious looking sour cream and I think I got a cherry. So I think I got all the ingredients. Mm. That is heaven in a little tiny bowl. Oh my. Oh my, so I know some of you know we don't eat dessert a lot. I know that sounds funny to say, but we just, it's not usually what we go for. But when we do, we always hope for it to be something as special as this. This is amazing. So I'm probably gonna like this more than Anna. I know she will like it, but it has all the things I like. So you take the donuts, deep fried donuts. There's a, 
a little bit almost like a caramelly um, flavor in there as well and you take that cherry sauce and it just becomes this decadent delicious uh, little dessert dish so this was Anna's idea I said to her I don't know if we can fit anything else you think we need to get this she's like we have to get this this is one of the things everyone <laughs> has been telling us to try. It is super. All right, you have been torturing me as I film you eating a delicious dessert. Ha, oh, goodness, I'm just so excited to try this. But I will say, like Trevor said, I don't eat dessert that often. And when I do like 9.999 times out of 10, I will uh, pick chocolate. There's obviously no chocolate in this, so we'll see. I think you're gonna be okay with it. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those little balls of dough are absolutely delicious. They're like kind of crunchy on the outside and really, really soft on the inside. And then the sour cream is like really, it's not that sour, so I don't even know if it's technically sour Yeah, it's cream. almost like an icing or something. Yeah, it's, it's it, reminds, uh, it reminds me a little bit of like whipped cream with a slight sour flavor. And then the cherry just adds a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm. it? This I think is perfection. We did okay today. Yeah, yeah, it's been a good day. Well, that was definitely a delicious day, mm -hmm. probably better than I expected, but we always love doing these food videos, especially when we're like in a new country that we've never been before. It kind of gives you a little bit of an insight yes. into like what to expect into a country. It's really, really hearty food. Great for this kind of weather, like it's cool. It's probably like 10 degrees or it's something right, oh, right, uh, right now, so it's really hearty and keeps you warm. Uh, but I think like over a year ago, we were in Budapest and their food is <laughs> right. also like stews and really, really hearty things. And it was like 40 degrees Celsius when we were there and we were eating all this really hearty food. This is a little bit more like climate appropriate, I think. <laughs> yeah, and you, and you know, diving into the local food is something we love to do within the first couple days when we get here. And that's what we just did today. And the food has surprised us honestly like we knew what some of the dishes were uh, but what we had today I think we, were, we, we made some good choices the cabbage rolls at the end like, oh yeah. my and dessert so good so guys um, we hope you enjoyed our video today of us taking you around for Romanian food if you got this far uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell and uh, leave us a comment let us know what you thought and um, also if you hit the like button that really helps us out now if you haven't watched our last video we were exploring this beautiful city, mm -hmm. and in our next video, we're gonna be eating more food. We are, but this time we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna be trying street food. So yes. yes, there might be some Romanian things thrown in yeah. there, but there'll also just be some fun Absolutely. international type foods, but street foods. Yeah, because well, you know, the Romanians don't eat Romanian food every day. There's lots of different things here. So that's what we're gonna be trying, and we can't wait to do it. All right, guys, that's it. From Bucharest, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.